So hey there, we're one third of the way through half marathon training. I'm actually really excited. I've got three more months until I get to run my first ever half marathon. I'm actually already poking around to see if there are any other half marathons after the flying pig that I can do, which shows just how much I'm enjoying all of this training and all of this running. Although ask me in another six weeks, I may have changed my mind by then, but I don't think so. This past week of training was a little bit different than previous weeks. I've been really good about sticking to my training plan up until this past weekend. Over the weekend, I realized that I was dead tired, and I was starting to show some signs of overtraining. I was tired, I was cranky, I was sore. I just didn't feel like I was giving myself enough time to rest after my runs and really getting enough sleep. So I decided that instead of pushing myself to injury, I was just going to take the weekend off and get back to it this week, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Another reason for deciding to not do the long run over the weekend was actually because of the weather. We had some pretty, pretty cold weather this weekend. We had temperatures in the 20s, wind chills in the single digits and below, and it just was not weather that was conducive to getting outside and running. I just don't have the right running equipment for that. Definitely need to hit up the sporting goods store so that I have some equipment so that I can go out running in the windier days on the colder days just so that I can push myself to get used to running in that cold weather. One of the things that I found this past weekend taking the time off was that I'm actually really excited to get back to running, really excited to start pushing myself again and to just keep moving, keep going, and to keep seeing what I can do. This past week I was super excited because I ran two of my fastest runs ever. Like I said in my athlete post, uh, my average pace is between 10.5 and, and an 11.5 minute mile. And that's with some walking breaks. So this past week I actually did two 5 milers in 55 minutes or less, which I was really proud of. Because it meant that I actually kept myself moving, really pushed myself to keep running, keep going, and get myself out there so that I could get back, get home in a reasonable amount of time. I was really proud of myself because I was really shaving lots of time off of my past PRs, especially for the five mile distance. The more that I've run for the half marathon training, the more that I've realized that five miles is about my favorite distance so far. I'm sure that the more my week, my weekly runs, my weekday easy runs become longer and longer, the more I might find that maybe I prefer six or seven mile runs. But right now I'm really into the five milers. This weekend, um, I was super excited to read some recaps of the half marathons and other races that people were running. I was especially happy to read the one by Megan about her rock and roll marathon and getting down on stage with Flo Rida. That was actually pretty cool. It was seriously inspiring for me to take a look and see if there might be a rock and roll marathon, half marathon at least, nearby. We will definitely have to see. It ultimately just depends on how the half marathon in May goes, but... I, I honestly at this point in time see some more half marathons in my future. This past week I definitely worked on fueling appropriately and found that as long as I ate protein after every run, I really made sure that I was maintaining a good protein intake throughout the day. I really was not wanting to eat the contents of my fridge. I'm also pretty sure that I'm adjusting to the higher, the, my higher needs, my higher energy needs throughout the day the more and more that I run. I'm sure that in the coming weeks as my weekly runs get longer and longer and my long runs get longer and longer, I'm definitely going to find weeks where I'm going to want to eat more and I'm probably going to have days where I'm still going to want to eat the contents of the fridge. But right now I seem to be managing things pretty good. Um, but at this point in time that's pretty much all that's going on. News um, on the stove, we're waiting for some parts to come in, but hopefully it will be fixed by this weekend. We're running 10 miles on Saturday. My birthday is actually this upcoming week, so I'm really hoping that I will have the opportunity to bake a cake for my birthday to enjoy that. But that's actually been it for this week of Half Marathon Training. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to chat, please leave a message for me in the comments, and I will catch you guys next week. See you later.